What's up guys? This is the Roveman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States or the very calamitous Total War Let's Play. So to pick up where we left off, um, the Ottomans are laying siege to our capital which is bad and they also have captured one of our territories in northern Italy so we're very much on the back foot as per usual. So without further ado, let's crack on because they are attacking us. So my intention will be to blow a hole in the wall to try to force them to come in through the breach where we can destroy them with fire by rank. But we do have an army that's very strong attacking us over in northern Italy as well. So things can still go spectacularly badly wrong. So they're coming from over there. Come on, let's deploy. So he goes out. Let's deploy my massive battery of mortars. See, if I was facing this, that would be beautiful, but I'm not. They're mine and they're terrible. Okay, so let's keep my grenadiers. Actually, no, I might want my grenadiers up on the. Let's get some infantry up to man the walls. Pretty backed up with a unit of grenadiers. We need a couple of units in case they flank. Well, actually, I might keep you down. Because the aim of the game is going to be blow a hole in that wall. My cavalry going to stay outside. You guys are going to be here, ready to fire. You guys are going to form a small line here. Uh, one of my garrison units is going to be in this building. So let's put a line infantry unit on the wall here. My pikes can take position behind my artillery. Garrison line unit in reserve. Almost bodyguard inside. Okay, so you guys attack ground here. My mortar battery attack ground outside the walls here as well. Their artillery is out over here. Mortars are engaging. The arcs are horrendous, so I'm just going to do fire at will. They appear to want to blow a hole in this section of the wall, which is fine. I may run an infantry unit up here, just in case something goes horribly wrong. Let's speed up time, because I want this wall opened. Really, I should aim the other side of the wall, so more shots. Arc over. Well, go take a higher arc. Yeah, Garrison that wall would have been a good, would have been a better, a good idea. My guys are opening up with as much firepower as they can provide. Oh god, a foot unit. A foot infantry unit. Get you guys inside. Let's run my cavalry out far, see if I can try and snipe their their cavalry. Their artillery, sorry. so they allow me to position so they, they allow me to to blow down this section of the wall these guys are bugged 
well, these guys were stuck down here. Come on, you guys need to get in. Starting to put some good fire into their units. Oh, I lost a one of my um, citizenry units. They're winded, so let's get my infantry to trot. Okay, so you guys fire at will. I mean, do you see how loads of them just started running outside the wall? Good. These guys are in position. Slowly pretend we've not noticed that they we've got a good shot to kill their cavalry. Mob the Israelis. Okay, run our cavalry. Israeli units routed, which is lovely. I mean, look at this. They're just cash marching through our gates. So what am I attacking with you for? Send my pike send my pikemen for that job. artillery has ceased firing. Bashi Bazooks coming in through the front door for some reason. Well, Grenadiers get involved. How's this happened? Okay, well then you guys halt fire. The cavalry did manage to rout their artillery. I mean, how did that happen at all? My pike should have a grand time against these bashi bazooks. But it's mighty strange. My other gun teams are still here, so why aren't they why is my gate not closing? It's not they've got spies, because our other gates are still shut. firing anymore but fire will off fire will on you guys should be tearing it up there you go now the gate's closed but now this one's open it's apparently says the Israelis are winning slightly let's move you guys over to here so you can fire down onto the combat. These Israelis are winning slightly, so let's get these Grenadiers. And these guys, really, to go and join 
in the combat. Good. These guys are now opening up once more. Let's help thin out the ranks. Oh, that's my demi cannon regiment that's complaining. But now you get to see the beauty of this happening now in, in 60 frames per second. Yeah, but you guys form position, pour fire down into these poor souls trying to get through our gate. I mean, it's not even playing sound. Sound bug. There we go. We broke the Cerades. So we should really start to be doing some damage with these guys firing down into the combat from the back. For whatever reason, the artillerymen have decided their manning their guns is terrible and boring and should not be done. Let's go my Farlacom citizenry. And probably my, my grenadiers to go and attack guys they're climbing the wall right next to me I have no idea why it's not playing any like I've got all my sounds on it should be a cacophony of death but it just isn't Definitely is the right. Come with my grenadiers. But everyone's trying to climb in. Everyone's trying to force their way in through this gate. And I'm hoping my pikemen are doing enough slaughter them because what I would like is to form an infantry block and then come around here and start pouring in fire by rank but I don't think they're going to let me do that but I suspect they're probably going to have a great big the morale is probably going to break down here sooner or later Surprisingly, our armed citizenry are not very happy. It's nice to have cleared them off the wall at least. You guys take positions and pour fire onto these Felain musketeers. It's got this Israeli unit we're killing. As long as this is my pikemen going in, and these guys should be doing hella damage. Oh, it's my mortar crews that are getting involved now as well. It's understandable the armed citizenry is unhappy. You guys come over here and also attack the unit of Israelis. If you can kill all these guys that are currently inside the inside the, the walls, hopefully they will route. a lot of troops trying to force their way in once their morale breaks they are going to be gone and 
these guys, this, their morale's broke, broken. You go stop firing. Get onto a position onto these cannons. Dare I try it? Dare I do something like this? Or well, is that just too much of a risk and their, their cavalry will come storming in and wipe me out? Some Muslims, Muslims and some Israelis are coming back. Who are you guys? Fellain musketeers are coming in. Now we've started to get some of them wavering. Or well, we did have anyway. Okay, let's get this foot infantry in there. Good, they've all broken. Got a unit of Felain Musketeers. So it looks like they've not had enough. So I want my muskets. Take care of that. I want my muskets, my pikes. Yeah, all my doors are closed now. As they should be. Mortars. Fire at will, because now they are firing at targets well away from my walls, such as them. So you guys fire at will. Okay, don't fire at will, fire at will. I want them to man these guns. Because those guns do provide them with a target against their cavalry. What? What the hell is my general doing out there? That's like the most frustrating general death ever. He was just sat here not doing anything. They must have, they must have a spy or something inside these walls because these doors just keep opening and shutting. Yep guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the recording there and then I'm going to finish the battle because, I mean, realistically not much is going to happen. Muslims are going to rout these Felain musketeers. The Felain musketeers, they aren't exactly fab units. But yeah, like, what the hell was my general doing outside of the walls? Such a weird, buggy campaign or battle. Why is everyone so unhappy about manning the guns on this side of the fort? Okay, well I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to pause the recording here and then see this battle out. So, see you in a sec, guys. And we're back, guys. So I sent my I sent my now useless general unit out to try decoy them in, but that must have been enough to make them rout. And yeah, that was a close victory, mainly because my mortars were the most sabotaging thing I've ever used. Holy hell they were abysmal they were utterly abysmal so now the ottomans have got license to run riot up in northern italy because i can't really stop them but i do have 
well, I will soon have Naples back, which I might have to combine a bunch of units to form one army again. I'll take Naples back, which is worth one and a half thousand a turn. And that's not to be sniffed at. Um, damn, this is tough. Yep, so army up here in Genoa has been destroyed, but they may end up rebelling, which wouldn't be so bad, because then they'd fight each other. But let's take this army, which is now pretty much destroyed. Combine as many units as is possible together. Ah, because you're provincial line, aren't you? Move them up to here. These guys replenish. Join Raphael, Raphael Genovese. Put them under siege. And probably recruit another gun team. Although we've got no, hardly any income. Because for whatever reason, Persia cancelled their trade agreement with us. Everyone did. Still 12,000, because... See, why are you being blockaded? Unless they're all... For some reason, this counts as my main trade port, which would be really dumb considering this is my capital. We're bankrupt. Slightly. Okay, let's hit end turn. God, this is... This is really tough. I've not had a break at all throughout this entire campaign. I've never had a point where I've gone, right, okay. We've... We've reached flat ground. Because right now we've been... Oh, expanded my and thought, okay, that's good. Then the Ottomans have just steamrolled through Europe. And the Ottomans are really strong. And they're just swarming me. And I've not got the income to hold them off. I've not got the income to raid like yep yeah, they're going to take back venice immediately because i can't stop them they're going to take milan because i can't stop them I'm going to take turin because i can't stop them holy hell <laughs> um okay okay right what the hell do i do Okay. <laughs> um, right. I think I try and make peace with the Ottomans because they've taken most of northern Italy. I send my army over to take Madrid and try and build up my campaign from Madrid. Because, yep, they're going to put me under blockade. Yep. Oh, God. The Ottomans declaring war on me just bugger this whole thing up. <laughs> if it was just France and Spain, that's fine. But the Ottomans came in with three stacks of troops. Okay, got three grand. Oh, but the only ships I have are... I should not have any ships. I've only got one port. <laughs> I've got one port. Do I have... Oh, I lost my navy early, didn't I? Oh, God. Okay, diplomacy. Ottoman Empire. No, come on. I mean, they have Blitz through, and it's not really strong conquering they've done but I've got minus 50 
Okay, I have to assault Naples, capture it, and then spin around and try to pretty much rebuild all of the effort that I've spent on this campaign already. Why did I have to lose my save? Things were difficult, but things weren't this difficult. Like in one turn, the Ottomans just went, no, 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 and no. There goes all of Northern Italy. I hope, at the very least, they rebel. At the very least, we've got strong, strong core of infantry to push up. Let's muster our weaker forces on one flank with our cavalry. General in the center. Their cavalry is on the right. I can see it. I'm firing at their... Okay, they're dropping explosive, sh explosive shells, really. Why is my... I really don't understand why I'm not hearing effect sounds because they're quite clearly on. It's not because it's down low either. Actually, no, don't do that. Well, I mean, yeah, you've got to, really. Pin them. Run my infantry up. Okay, there we go. I wanted to try to get a bit of a flank going on. So I'm hoping our regiment of horse is enough. To knock out their... Okay, let's get my artillery to start actually hitting units. Because our battle line is is it's just in range of their mortars to start thrashing them with volley fire. That might be enough to make them rout. Yep, they are losing the cavalry battle because they have just got skirmish cavalry. There we go. They're getting lashed by musket fire. I mean, this is... This audio problem is mighty strange. Okay, now they want to push in normally. You... You need to reload like your lives depend on it because they do... the cavalry. Let's return the flank. The armed populace are routed. More far like armed populace Muslim. The Janissary Grenadiers are all quite weak, which is nice. That's the Fellaini Musketeers they're going to be routing. All this armed populace, it's frustrating that we're going to be fighting them, but they are very poor quality infantry. Okay, let's pivot the flank. Let's move my limited number of pikes up. Ready. Really wish you guys could beat the cavalry actually I might get you guys shooting at the the uh, the their enemy cav the enemy cavalry 
form squags. It looks like they may. I was about to say may drift into my field of fire. Left an infantry unit behind, but at least that means they'll be in good nick. The unpopulists are broken again. Let's engage the unpopulists there. Let's run my pikes around. Make sure the that my infantry don't start shooting into friendly combat. It was very nice of them to focus on my grenadiers. It's unfortunate that they're going to pin me in position for the Rissaredis to shoot me in the back. Cavalry battle is still going, and there's a chance we might. Well, I don't think we're going to lose it because we've got more cavalry in there. Better actual cavalry. Form my new line. Fall back. You guys should be pouring fire into this garrison Israeli unit. Awesome. Cavalry's really knocking seven bells out of each other, but it looks like we might win, because they're shaken and we're confident. Let's pour fire into the enemies. They've got a fire like on Populous and an Israeli unit. Let's keep some guys positioned just in case these guys come back from routing. Let's get the artillery to hit. The Israeli is on the hill. The cavalry looks like they've died. Oh no, I thought they were routing. Yeah, we've got 63 men and one in a single unit, and they've only got 24. There we go, now it's just the cavalry left. They are routing. Oh, there's still a unit surviving. The unit of Azars. Speed up time, it's just as ours. Ah, oh, and some Israelis have decided to come back. But they will only temporarily come back. Yeah, because they've had enough. The Israelis are going to have enough. Yep, they've had enough. Sweet. Okay, so. We've taken back... Naples. Let's repair. Get this army back to Venice. And how much did it, will it cost to re to replenish? Two thousand. But we still we got a steady amount of. Well, say steady. <laughs> All those region lost and army destroyed. Army destroyed. Army destroyed. Army destroyed. Army destroyed. Region lost. Region lost. Region lost. Region lost. Enemy raid. Sorry. Okay, let's build a fifth rate <laughs> to try and get some semblance of money coming in. And Taranto is going to be built, which I would like to build into a trade port, so then I can at least get another axis of trade into my garrisons. See, these guys are all going to rebel. They can't hold on to these towns. Too bad they've, they've raided my school, so I can't do any more research. But we've taken Naples. And our secondary general is becoming our primary general. Let's hit end turn. Gods, we've been punched in the belly. But now is the time to expand back out. God, they are swines. This has been a... Well, it is. I suppose it has been a very tough campaign, implying it's got easier. No, it is very difficult.
Spain's at war with Portugal, which might be handy because it would keep their attention off of me for a while. Also, the Prussians have been pushed back by the Russians. Well, the mixture of Russians and Poles. Okay, they are sending more troops south. The Venetians have rebelled, so they might be able to lose Venice if they're not careful. I'd like to have taken it myself, but you know, I can only do... There is a limit to things I can do. Okay, so I'm getting some... I've got a lot of stability issues with this current build. Because for whatever reason, my... my The recording just freezes for some reason, which I don't really understand. Uh, but this army's on the march. Lots of janissaries, but they are depleted. They've lost Venice, and they're probably going to lose a whole bunch of other troops. But at least Venice means that that's blocked off the Austrians... Not the Austrians, the Ottomans from attacking me now. So they're at war with... No, oh, they're not at war with any of the major powers. Prussia's at war with a whole bunch of people. Not Poland. Poland's trading with the Ottomans. I wish they were at war with them. And Russia is... Russia has no feelings towards the Ottomans. Which is a shame because it means they've made peace. So it's mean I need to spend all my money on rebuilding next turn we're going to get our ship back we're going to get a fifth rate which means we can send them out to go and take out this guy in his light galley so France peace don't care about the Ottomans Spain peace nope I mean, I'm going to temporarily trade... Well, I'm going to trade with Venice because they're acting as a useful... They're acting as a useful breakwater from the Ottomans. But they're about to lose a whole bunch of other Italian states, which I spent all that time collecting. Well, collecting. Capturing. Can't do any research because I've got no money. So let's hit enter. So, <laughs> uh, so I'm, I'm about five decent-ish part, four or five decent parts in, and I've got no. I still don't have a defined kingdom. A navy would have been so handy, but at the same time, I don't think I could have afforded a proper navy. Come on, Armands, what are you gonna do? The Venetians are now... I've got a garrison. Your forces are cut off. The Genoans have rebelled. I mean, they could have done the ultimate chaotic, neutral um, route and decided that, you know, they're going to do everything except... They're going to take my lands. Not to hold them, but just to make sure I can't have them. Um, so, what I want to do is I want to support Venice, or just keep trading with Venice for as long as possible, to gather as much money as possible to go and invade Spain. So while I've got that breakwater on my eastern flank holding off the Ottomans for an amount of time I can try and knock out one of the other frustrating problems I've got. See Genoa still at war with Genoa so you've got a limited amount of cash can't trade with Prussia because they're being blockaded. Okay, I'm going to build a trade port. Going to recruit a light galley ready to occupy it. But yeah, there's, there's a real... I'm going to rebuild the college to see if they'll let me sneak it under the radar. Agrarian... Eh. We need more than that. So your three becomes four becomes five. 
Yes, thank Christ we've got Naples, because Naples is the only one that's really helping us out. So we've got Taranto has emerged. We've got these guys to replenish as much as they can, then they'll go and take out this remaining army. Or do I... Well, don't... Hmm, do I try and make peace? Because right now it's just going to be replaced by a whole bunch of... Um, Italian states. Let's get my spy back down here. My rake. He's been sat there for the whole game. Claude has. It's got our first fifth rate again. Okay. I hate... I hate burning end turns when I'm not researching anything. It feels like the ultimate waste. I mean, I've had so many cuts during this episode that I can't even remember what minute I'm on, so I'm going to have to take a bit of a guess. Yeah, I expanded all the way out. I fought against everyone to not lose my territory in one episode. Bam! The Ottomans just wiped me out. And then I'm back to where I started, more or less. Except I've got more enemies. Do I intercept? No, you're just... I may as well... Uh, no. I was wondering if they'd walk past. But let's just auto-resolve and see how many men we can kill. 428. That's not bad. Yep, so we've got, oh good, Lombardi is, is, is rebelling into an actual rebel army, not a proper army. So you want to move north and attack that Ottoman stack. And destroy them. Oh yeah, the Genoese. See, they've only just got back into the game and they've ruined my school. Don't worry, Genoa. You'll get yours. Or do I even try and make peace with Genoa? They really don't want to. They really don't want to make peace. Okay, so what are we on? 300, because we've lost our port. So let's get you ready to be rebuilt. So let's ship... My light galley over to Toronto. Let's take this army and go and attack these cads. But, looking at the timer, we could be over or under the end of this part. I don't really know, but this feels like quite a natural point to draw a line under it. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for another battle against the Ottomans. Cheers, everyone.